Let's go to the next domain in uh, Security Plus. Domain 4, Operations and Incident Response. The weightage for Domain 4, Operations and Incident Response is 16%. So, in the previous three modules, we discussed what are the different types of threats, vulnerabilities and attacks. We looked at the security concepts, security design concepts. And we also discussed what are the different methods or what are the different controls that can be implemented to achieve cyber security in an environment. Now we are coming to the next topic, operations and incident response. Now, so in this particular uh, domain, we will start with certain tools. So we need to assess the security of our environment to assess the security of our environment we will use different tools so there are network reconnaissance tools which helps us to understand the information regarding our network what are the machines in our network what are the operating systems what are the applications what are the open ports what are the running services what are the missing patches what are the configuration issues? There are so many things that we need to understand with respect to our network. So for that, we will use different network reconnaissance tools that are listed here. Then we will try to use tools using which we can manipulate files. We will use scripts, custom made scripts that are used to test the security environment. We will try to do packet capture. So we have packets going through the network from one location to another we will try to capture those packets we will try to analyze those packets we will try to do we will try to break passwords or crack passwords to see if our passwords are strong enough so different things we do as a part of testing our organizational security readiness so the different types of mechanisms and tools that is used for that we will discuss here Then we move to incident response. See, in this domain, we are talking about different types of tools that are used for assessing our network security. Plus, we are also talking about incident response. Now, what is meant by incident response? Whenever we are having a cyber attack, we have to take first of all we have to detect those attacks so what are the methods or what are the mechanisms that we use to detect our attacks that we that we have discussed then once we detect the attack we have to respond to those attacks so to respond to those attacks we have to have what is called as a incident response plan in place so what what are the different uh, stages of incident response what happens in each stage then how do we understand the uh, how, how do we understand different cyber security attacks to understand different cyber security attacks we have different models we have something called as cyber kill chain we have something called as the mitre attack model we will analyze these things then we will look into the concept of business continuity and disaster recovery why do we need business continuity or disaster recovery our organization can be faced with multiple disasters it can be natural disasters it can be man-made disasters and due to the disasters our organizations may not be able to operate for a day or longer so if it is if the organization is operational for non-operational for a day or longer there will be losses but we, if we continue in that state for a very long time, few days or a week, then what happens is we might eventually go out of business. So when, when our organization is faced with a disaster, we should have a backup plan in place. That backup plan is developed as a part of business continuity and disaster recovery. So we will look also look into the aspects of 
business continuity and disaster recovery how to be test business continuity and disaster recovery plans all those things we will discuss in this particular section then let us say we have an incident when we have a security incident or when we, when we have a cyber security attack or when we have a cyber security incident we will respond to it as a part of responding to cyber security events we might have to do investigations we want to know what happened if something has happened we have to go into the details to understand to get an entire picture of the attack so we will have to do investigations as a part of investigation we will analyze a lot of data that is there in our network so what are the different types of data that we have to analyze as a part of our investigations we will analyze the output of vulnerability scans we will look into the information output of our sim tools then we will look into the information in log files so every information asset that we have we will capture those information assets or we will configure those information assets to capture logs so that we know what all activities are happening there what are valid activities and invalid activities we will capture that so that we can monitor them and if something out of the way happens we will be able to understand so monitoring the log files log files related related technologies like syslog nx log we will also analyze metadata metadata is nothing but information regarding our information so to get metadata we will analyze emails we will analyze the data on mobile phones we will analyze files we will analyze web information we will also analyze traffic flow so everything all these information we will analyze as a part of our investigations so how investigations happen what are the uh, information that is analyzed as a part of investigation that we will discuss here then we will go to the methods that are used to secure an environment or mitigation mechanisms let us say we have a cyber security attack at the cyber security attack we start we we started responding to it we started our investigations now how do we mitigate that attack what are the mechanisms that comes as a part of mitigation we will do reconfiguration of our endpoint solutions like application whitelisting or blacklisting or we will quarantine things as using our endpoint anti malware solutions we will change configurations in our firewalls we will make changes in mobile device management solutions dlp solutions content filtering solution or we will implement isolation or containment measures so as a part of responding and mitigating cyber security incidents what all measures do we normally take in a cyber security environment that is what we are discussing here then we move to digital forensics so if you look at digital forensics digital forensics is nothing but all the methods that we use to identify identify capture save and produce evidences so here we are talking about digital evidences so all the mechanisms that we use to gather and produce digital evidences that is what is called as digital forensics now as a part of digital forensics we have to uh, go through the fundamental concepts of digital forensics what are the different types of documentations what is meant by an evidence when we are capturing an evidence what all we have to capture then when we are capturing evidences from information systems and applications what are the mechanisms to be follow we refer to we get evidences from the disk from the page files from the devices from the firmware then how do we preserve the evidences that we have captured how do we produce the evidences that we have captured and also there is a concept related to evidences known as e discovery so e discovery is something that is applicable in the us environment it is a legal obligation 
e-discovery is a legal obligation that organizations in uh, us has to comply with as a part of digital forensics we will also discuss that particular concept so this is what we discuss in domain 4 in domain 4 we are essentially talking about operations operations in the sense how do we detect attacks the mechanisms that we use to detect attacks that we will discuss once we detect the attacks then we will go into responding to the attacks so for that we have incident response in place we will discuss the different aspects of incident response as a part of incident response we will do investigations how do we how do we do investigations as a part of investigations what all information do we have to refer to we will discuss that once we have done the investigations and we have understood the attack now we have to mitigate the attack so in a cyber security environment what are the common measures that we take to mitigate attacks will be discussed and then finally we talk about collecting digital evidences what is meant by digital forensics how do we collect digital evidences what are the different methods for collecting digital evidences how do we preserve evidences how do we produce them and finally we will also discuss the concept of e-discovery so what once we have covered the aspects of this particular domain we know how to detect attacks how to respond attacks how to conduct cyber security investigations and how to capture digital evidences in the cyber security environment